My name is Will Trader. My handle is HarmJoy on Twitter. I am an offensive engineer at a company called SpectreOps. So I build a lot of offensive tool sets. We, I do a lot of kind of red team engagements and a little bit of defensive stuff as well. So I really kind of got started to get into PowerShell several years ago to help kind of automate some of our offensive tradecraft and then really just started building a lot of tools that help facilitate our engagements to where we help kind of you know, break into companies or hack into companies and try to find all these problems really, really quickly so we can help them fix them. It was about four or five years ago to where I learned a bunch of kind of more old school or classic kind of hacking tradecraft with you know, net.exe and nltest.exe. Then I started to automate a lot of these components and started to build tool sets for it. And the PowerShell community, both on the security side and just the PS U side, were really, really welcoming, really, really uh, friendly, and kind of brought me into the fold and really helped me kind of up my skill set and start, start writing better, better code and more effective tools. I'm doing a lot of stuff with PowerShell. I'm doing uh, some defensive hunt type stuff with some of my workmates and also still doing red team engagements and always just kind of expanding our tool sets. And I've recently started using a lot of PowerShell for and Azure for automation of like wide scale testing environments and training environments and things like that. So I, I still use PowerShell nearly every day. It's, a, it's one of my favorite tools. I think it's extremely important, and I think uh, kind of a validation of this is seen in the security community. More and more people have started to embrace PowerShell and build PowerShell-based tools. Jeffrey Snover and Lee Holmes actually keynoted a really, really big security conference uh, called DerbyCon this past year. So just seeing that kind of embrace and seeing the interplay between it, I think is validation of showing, at least in, in my part of IT and security, it's really, really necessary if you're, if you're doing anything with the Windows environment to at least be familiar with PowerShell, if not you know, an expert or at least you know, semi-proficient. So I actually learned a lot about PowerShell 6 and 6.1 and the direction of it going forward, things I wasn't as familiar with. Uh, I also really enjoyed Alexander's session on uh, some of the Azure automation technologies and how they plug into PowerShell. It was something that was really applicable to me in developing training environments. I really like how friendly and welcoming everybody is. It's, it's, it's awesome to actually see such a positive community. It's one of the big reasons we love coming back. I also like interacting with people from different disciplines. So there's people from security, there's people from DevOps, there's people from like the core programming, like core language type stuff. And PowerShell is this banner that really brings everybody together and lets you interact with people from different industries that you might not otherwise do. I, I always love coming to Germany. It's always it's always fun making the trip. And again, you know, just actually being able to interact with a lot of a lot of these people that I would normally not interact with from different disciplines and different countries. It, it's really really positive for us to kind of get out of the just you know the small little same community that we sometimes end up you know uh, being isolated in in the United States. So it's I just love interacting with everybody and hearing different ideas and you know being able to being able to learn from a lot of these different people is a really positive experience.